thing that the LPS Church does not want you to know. This video was made to expose a small number of truths that are hidden by the LPS Church. I hope that the viewer of this video has at least a cursory understanding of this church and its teachings. For the sake of time, I will only go over a few of the lies in this great sea of mis- and disinformation. First, the Mormon Church will never tell you much about the actual life Joseph Smith led. Joseph Smith was a con man. Court records were found about 10 years ago stating that Joseph Smith was a glass looker i.e. someone who looked into an object in order to see the future for spirits. This was illegal and Smith used this transparently false activity in order to steal money. But it doesn't stop there. Mr. Smith also started a Ponzi scheme called the Kirtland Safety Society. This so-called bank was founded without a charter and used its own currency. This bank bankrupted its members and Smith was eventually found guilty once again of fraud. You hear a lot about the first vision in the Mormon church, but they don't tell you a lot of the facts. Smith changed his story on the first vision multiple times. Not to mention that the first version of the vision was published almost 20 years after the reported date. You won't hear about how Smith was finally kicked out of New York for his law breaking. You won't even hear that it was for those same reasons the Mormons were run out of Missouri. It is seen today as some Holocaust-like persecution. The truth is that Smith and his followers were trying to set up a theocracy. Smith more or less named himself king of the new territory. The Mormons were breaking the laws of marriage with polygamy, etc., etc. That's another thing. They usually only talk about Joseph and Emma. They don't seem to focus much on his 40 or so other wives. Keep in mind that many of these women were married to other men, but Smith claimed not only that God wanted them to sleep with him, but that they should not tell their other husbands. Also, they would never admit the fact that many of the wives were underage which furthered the crimes of Smith and his followers. You won't hear about the Nauru Expositor. The newspaper which dared to utilize free speech and denounce the Mormon Church. You won't hear that Smith ordered the destruction of this newspaper in its building and that it was subsequently burned. You won't even hear that this was the real reason he was put into jail. They wouldn't dare to tell you of this reason, and the above facts are the real reasons that Mormons were run out of Missouri. No, the Mormon Church would tell you that they were run out because of religious persecution. Once in Utah, you won't hear that the government would not grant statehood to this territory unless the Mormon religion denounced polygamy. You won't hear that is the real reason that polygamy was left by the LDS Church. You won't hear that blacks were not able to hold any priesthood position in the church until 1978. You won't hear about the heavy hand the LDS Church lays on politics. And they definitely won't tell you that one of their most sacred beliefs is nothing more than the tool of the cult. Sealings are done in the temple to seal family members to each other for time and all eternity. The problem is that if a family member decides that the Mormon church isn't their cup of tea and that they wish to leave, these seals are broken and they are cut off from their family. It is a disgusting, vulgar attempt to use the love of your family against you. No other religion in the world utilizes these evil cult-like tactics in order to block exit from this deceitful church. How do I know all this? I used to be LDS. I googled reliable sources for information. I opened my eyes. The facts are out there. 